yeah, a four hour Justice League movie that you have to distribute out all over the place. Warner Brothers ain't gonna fucking do that. All right, now we got Zack Snyder, 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 Snyder. And uh, well, Zack decided to do a little teasing yesterday. Do a little teasing that got everybody kind of going, oh, are we finally going to get it? Are we finally going to get it? Are we going to get something, a certain movie that's going to come out in theaters? Well, we'll get to that. We were all wondering exactly what was going to be happening when it came when it came to the Rebel Moon director's cuts. Well, how are they going to handle it when it comes to showing it in theaters? I assumed that there was going to be something that was going to be happening in L.A. at the Egyptian Theater, just like the previous two, and I went to those. And then finally, Zach announced it. Join me at the Egyptian Theater on August 3rd to watch both director's cuts of Rebel Moon, followed by a Q&A, giveaways, and more surprises. Complimentary tickets, of course, for the first uh, 50 and blah, blah, blah. They sold out pretty quickly. Who's going? I got my ticket. So we had that. And then, of course, Zach teased this yesterday, which uh, on Vero, he posted, want to see Zach Snyder's Justice League on the big screen? Stay tuned for a date. So naturally, everybody was like, what? But then I was like, again, I, I didn't get like my hopes up when it came to something. I was like, huh, that's pretty interesting. And then of course I got like numerous DMs. I posted it on Instagram, that thing blew up and people were like, what, what, what? Everybody was like freaking out about it and automatically going like, oh man, I hope it's like a worldwide release and all this and that. And I was like, oh no, people are gonna be getting their hopes up a little too much because I don't think Warner Brothers is gonna fork over the money to distribute a four-hour movie across the world. <laughs> I mean, that's one of the things that's like, yeah, maybe that's not the best way to tease something like that. Probably not. Probably not the best way to tease something like that because then, you know, people all around the world are going to get their hopes up. They're going to get their hopes up that there's going to be a worldwide release. But then at the same time, I just kind of like beg the fans. I'm like, you got to think logically about this, though. You got to think logically. Most likely it's not going to... And a lot of people were. There were, there were people out there going, most likely not going to be a huge release. Probably going to be just in a couple of locations. Because, yeah, a four-hour Justice League movie that you have to distribute out all over the place... Warner Brothers ain't gonna fucking do that. Monday through Thursday, July 29th to August 1st, before the weekend of Rebel Moon, the epic worlds of Zack Snyder featuring 300 Watchmen director's cut, Dawn of the Dead, Army of the Dead, and Zack Snyder's Justice League, Justice is Grey, going to be playing at the Egyptian that week. Now, I did submit to uh, go to see Justice, Justice League on that Thursday, but probably not going to make it if I do get it because I was like, oh, it's going to probably be earlier in the day. Probably not going to go and make it. Probably not going to make it. Most likely not going to make that. So, well, hopefully other people get to uh, enjoy all the, those on the, uh, on the big screen. But yeah, just kind of like a lead up. I mean, this is what they're doing now to the lead up of Rebel Moon Director's Cuts. I'm definitely going to be going that Saturday for uh, the director's cuts, for sure. I'll be there, and like I said, if you guys are gonna be there too, come say hi. I'm sure there'll be some other people there too that uh, you might know, so 